A while back, I did a review about the Clarins Nutri Lumiere Day and Night Creams, and people wanted me to then check out the Double Serum. Clarins was nice enough to send me the Double Serum and a few other things that we'll be going over today. Thank you to Clarins for gifting me these products. So let's get into them. Let me show you what we'll be talking about. The Double Serum, per everyone's request, and then also their Concentré Zone Regard, which is a super restorative total eye concentrate. Why well, I didn't just read the English part first, I don't know. <laughs> But we've got this, and then we also have, oh my gosh, you guys, I have a new love here. Oh, you know, I really love Clarence Moisturizers. This is the Rose Radiance Cream Super Restorative for all skin types. And then we have their Mascara Super Volume. We also have the Jolie Rouge Lip Crayon, as well as the award-winning Jolie blush. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Nicole. I'm 53 years old and I live in the San Francisco Bay Area. I do videos about makeup, skincare, hair care, and I do some cooking once in a while. So if that is interesting to you, do hit that subscribe button and join my community. All right, let's get into the products. Now, the Double Serum is a hydric and lipidic system. And let us pop over to their website to check out what makes it special. Clarence claims that the Double Serum is an anti-aging treatment enriched with 21 plant extracts that uses a hydrolipidic and biomimetic double formula to optimize the performance of the skin's five vital functions, hydration, nutrition, oxygenation, regeneration, and protection. They say that this multitasking serum does it all and that it's good for all skin types and you can use it morning and evening or morning or evening. As we scroll down to more product details, it's their number one best-selling anti-aging serum and it's two serums in one. That's why it's called a double serum. There's actually kind of two little containers in the container. So when you pump that out, uh, it also includes age-defying turmeric and it's supposed to visibly firm, smooth, and boost radiance in just seven days. They say that it's good for all ages and all ethnicities and even the most sensitive skin. It's mineral oil free and they say to follow with a moisture moisturizer to boost results. Now the two chambers that I was just talking about a minute ago, they say that it houses the perfect ratio of water soluble, hydric, and oil soluble lipidic ingredients, similar to the skin's hydrolipidic film. They say that it's a worldwide bestseller and one is sold every five seconds around the world. Now looking at their results, they say that after seven days, 83% of people had more radiant skin and 74% saw visibly firmer skin. And then here are the results that go even higher after four weeks. And I have to say that my skin was looking really, really good after using this. I've been using it now for several more weeks. It's been about a month now and I'm really liking it. Here we're looking at the different ingredients in case you were curious what those 21 ingredients were. Let's take a quick skim through here. It's also great to know that skincare goddess Caroline Hirons gives the Clarins Double Serum a great review. I will link her review down below. Now I'm going to go ahead and just pump some out here so you can see the consistency. See it just kind of sits on top of my hand there. Uh, it's kind of a gel-like serum. Um, it's got a bit of a slip to it, but it doesn't feel oily. It does, you know, definitely feel kind of, you know, like water. It, it doesn't make you feel oily at all. Um, it absorbs right in and it smells almost like a very light powdery fragrance. And I, I don't mean that it smells like a perfume, but but it's almost already dissipated now that it's soaked into my skin, but it's a very light, soft smell. A little bit goes a long way. As you saw, I was rubbing that in and in and in on my hand. And if you think about, you know, a hand being about half the size of your face, I definitely could have spread that over my whole face. And really one pump does do it. They do have a little adjuster here, so you could get a smaller pump out. Let me show you the smaller pump level. So that gives you a bit less. I should put that on the other hand, actually. <laughs> so this one gets some uh, super boosting too. The way I've been using this serum is after I cleanse my face, I will use an essence or a toner or kind of whatever I am into, sometimes both. And then I will go ahead and put the serum on. And on top of that, I put my tretinoin moisturizer and a skin oil. So I've been using it always at night and sometimes in the morning if I'm layering it on top of my C serum. Now the super restorative total eye concentrate, let me show you what this is like. This is just a cream. It stands up so it does kind of have some, uh, you know, kind of body to it. Um, and it is definitely, it's it's very emollient feeling, but not heavy or thick. Sometimes I really like this heavy, thick creams on my face because I just I've got very dry skin. Um, but it is one that does you know sink in nicely. It's 
been keeping my eyes very hydrated. Do you ever wake up sometimes and it just feels like it's tight underneath your eyes? When I use this uh, eye serum, I do not feel like that at all. And my skin's been looking nice and plump, so I've been very happy with that. Claren says that the Super Restorative Total Eye Concentrate is an all-in-one anti-aging eye cream that targets deep wrinkles, crow's feet, puffiness, and dark circles. And it gets four and a half stars here on their website. They said it's for all skin types and you can use it daily, morning, and or evening. It is powered by organic Harangana, hopefully I said that correctly, and they say that it visibly lifts and illuminates your eyes for a more youthful look. And here are the ingredients. Now let's look at how they recommend applying this. You're supposed to warm it up between your fingertips, then press it underneath your eyes, and onto your eyelids. And this is an interesting one. They say you're supposed to apply it to your eyelashes. And then smooth it up over onto your forehead. The Rose Radiance Cream has been the most pleasant surprise for me. Oh my gosh, I love this. It is, first of all, it's very pretty, pink cream. And it is is just a wonderful texture. I put this on this hand because I just put the eye cream on the other hand. Uh, it sinks in beautifully, very, very hydrating. I'm the type of person who put night cream on during the day and it really doesn't phase me. My skin just drinks it up. Um, but this just feels extra hydrating. It just seems to really, really last well on my face. Usually I always put an oil on top of my moisturizers. With this one, you know, if I and be lazy or I kind of just am in a rush or something. It's not like later I'm like, oh, I better go put that on. I don't feel hydrated enough. It just feels so wonderfully creamy and soft. So I absolutely love the feel of this, the texture of this, and I have been loving it. So now let's pop back over to the website and see what makes this so special. Claren says that the Rose Radiance Cream Super Restorative is a three-in-one pink tinted daily moisturizer that smooths, boosts luminosity, and even skin tone. It gets four and a half stars here in the ratings, and it's for all skin types. They said apply it to your clean face and neck each morning. Ages ago, I used to use a apricot tinted moisturizer and I just loved the look that it gave me. And this Rose Radiance Cream has really filled that void in my makeup routine. I love putting it on my skin, whether I'm wearing makeup or not. It looks fantastic under foundation. And I am just so loving that look it's giving my skin on top of all the great hydration and other benefits. Looking at the details here, they say that it's an intensive three-in-one daily replenishing moisturizer for mature skin, formulated to deliver on the three dimensions of radiant skin, smooth, luminous and even skin tone and they say that it's a vibrant pink tinted anti-aging moisturizer that warms the complexion to reveal a natural looking rosy glow instantly so it really does have that effect just somehow you look better when you put it on they say that it smooths and they're using new hibiscus sabdariffa flower acids to remove dead surface cells gently and naturally leaving skin smooth supple and visibly tighter allowing light to better reflect on skin for maximum rosiness and radiance Karen says that they have a new universal radiance complex that contains four shades of mother of pearl that amplify white light boosting skin's luminosity and blurring imperfections for virtually flawless complexion they see that even skin tone the combination of the moisturizer soft pink tint and a dark spot targeting vitamin c derivative promotes a healthy looking rosy glow and an even skin tone it also has the plus anti-aging innovation with organic Hirogana extract replenishing to visibly restore the look of the skin's density, elasticity, and healthy looking vitality. And they said that the look of deep wrinkles and skin slackening is reduced while line filling pearls visibly plump to smooth the skin's surface. Oh, here they talk about the scent. They say that it's a fruity floral scent of peach, peony, and rose. And for ingredients, what I thought was interesting was that even though it's called a rose cream, I could not find rose in any of the ingredients. So I guess the rose refers to the color. The Jolie Blush won an award lately, and it is quite nice. Uh, this is the color that I chose. It is the Cheeky Peach. I love that it comes with this little brush. Uh, so handy so that if you did throw this into your handbag or on the go you can just kind of touch up you know obviously it's not the same as using you know a fluffy powder brush or blush brush but it'll get the job done and it's nice that it's in there and it'll just sit right on there and then close up inside the blush that's why 
they have on now and I just add a little bit more when I did that so you can see what a beautiful color it is um, I did add a little bit of highlight here on top but everything else underneath here is just the blush so very pretty color lasts really nicely this is the type that will definitely give you eight hour of wear so I've been very happy with this the lip pencil I have it on right now I do have a little bit of gloss on top so I'm going to go wipe that off and I will apply this so you can see what it looks like just by itself it's quite lovely completely by itself and it has more of a matte look but it's very comfortable so one second okay now I have I've wiped off the lip product and this is what it looks like I'll go ahead and swatch it so you can see what it looks like just on my skin and let me go ahead and apply it to my lips it really feels like a lipstick So here it is all by itself on my lips and it's very comfortable it's got a tiny bit of a slip to it like lipstick but it's not really really slippery feeling or anything like that and I think that's what helps it last really long I feel like I've kept this on for several hours during the day you know I'm drinking water and stuff not necessarily you know, eating a meal or something but it does seem to stay on for at least a couple hours so I think it stays on longer than lipstick which has been really nice I think this is a really pretty color oh this color is 757c nude brick Let's pop over to the website real quick and check out the different colors that are available on these two products. I'll just go ahead and scroll across these so you can see the different colors available. They say it's a pH reactant blush that's enriched with plant oil extracts for buildable color and comforted, protected skin. I did notice that using a very soft brush on this blush, it didn't pick up a lot. So you either will have to go in a little bit more often with a very soft brush or use a firmer brush if you want to pick up more, but it is very buildable. The Jolie Rouge Crayon comes in these four colors. Oh, and I didn't show you, the end comes off and it has a little sharpener if you want to sharpen the tip. Now let's take a look at the mascara. This is the Super Volume and this is what the brush is like. So it's not the super fat bristly, but it's not like one of those skinny ones with the plastic protrusions. I, I don't like those at all, uh, but it has a lot of bristles and it's got a very long wand. I have found this to be super great for my lower lashes because it gives me, oh wait, you know what? I've had my lower lashes on. I've had my mascara on like all day long. So let's just add a little bit of this here. And you can see the difference now between this eye where I added it and this eye where I didn't because I put on makeup and did all kinds of stuff since I put on my lower lash line mascara earlier today. And I have false lashes on now, obviously. So I'll show you this also. I'll throw in some B-roll of me just applying this mascara. I have to do the other side so I don't look lopsided. Um, but I've really enjoyed this. Uh, it adds length and volume. Uh, it's not crazy. You know, it's not the type that will ever make it look clumpy. website to see what they say about the mascara. They say that it's a double formula effect mascara that'll leave your lashes full yet flexible. By the way, I have not had any crumbling or anything like that. They say that the general formula is enriched with cassie flower and panthenol to visibly thicken and smooth lashes. And they said it has a double volume effect, visibly thickens and smooths, fans out lashes, clump free and long wearing, definitely clump free get really feathery lashes with this and easy one coat application. Mm, yeah, you can do one coat, but you saw what that looked like versus my doing a second coat. I highly recommend the second coat if you like your lashes to look a lot larger and gentle on eyes. I don't know, none of my mascaras really bug my eyes, but um, this didn't bug it either. So I found that this mascara reminds me a lot of kind of the Monsieur Big or the Better Than Sex mascara. If you took away the fact that those can get clumpy, uh, this will give you some really good volume and length, but it's not quite as bushy and your lashes won't stick together at all. I'm always trying to add lots of volume, so I do sometimes really love that kind of a mascara that really kind of adds that bulk because my eyelashes, even though I use Latisse, are still not the longest and they are still, you know, kind of a blondish color. So, um, you know, this has been really nice because 
I do not like mascaras that just add darkness to my lashes. I need that bulk and volume and this does that. And if I want that really nice feathered look, this is really great for that. And as you saw, I mean, just for my lower lashes, which aren't really big, I mean, this made them look really, really bulked up from what they were before. Clarence has been around a really long time. I was using it, you know, 30 years ago in my, you know, early to mid twenties. I heard such good things about one of their tanning creams or lotions or whatever it was back in the day and really loved it. And that's like my big splurge. I remember it was one of my first big beauty counter purchases and, uh, you know, loved it then. And it's really fun to try more of their products. So I'd love to know, have you had experience with any of these products? Do you have any particular other Clarence favorites that I have not talked about yet? Let me know in the comments down below. If you've not yet joined my community, would love if you consider doing that by hitting the subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and a share. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I hope you have a wonderful day or evening wherever you are. I'll see you in the next video.